Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, if you're new here, and today we're doing a little bit of meal prep. So today I am going to try a new recipe. I saw some inspiration for this on Pinterest and it is spaghetti squash chow mein, sort of. Um, so we're gonna use a spaghetti squash, some vegetables, some chicken, and an Asian style sauce. And it's gonna be a really delicious meal prep that I'm gonna have for lunches this week. Um, just for a couple of days, cause my spaghetti squash is itty bitty. You'll see that in just a second. I'm also gonna do some baked goods. I might do some baked oats. Um, I'd want to make our favorite flourless brownies. We haven't, we didn't have those last week and I've pretty much been making them every single week. So I wanna make those. I'm also gonna make some overnight oats for my boyfriend. And yeah, we'll just see where this meal prep takes us. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around here. I do a lot of meal preps on my channel for my weight loss journey, balanced eating, and just finding that healthier me. So stay tuned and let's go ahead and jump into the first recipe. All right, so here are the ingredients I'm using. We've got a little spaghetti squash, literally a little one, perfect for like two servings. I'm gonna use some of this vegetable uh, stir fry mix. Um, I don't have much chicken, so I'm gonna use this one from Costco. It's my last one um, that I just had frozen. And then the rest of this package, as you can see, there's not a ton left. Um, and I'm gonna need to just combine the two. Some people might think that's weird. I don't think that's weird, so it'll be fine. And then I think I'm gonna use the gyoza, gyoza dipping sauce um, from Trader Joe's. This has a lot of flavor. It has really good um, I guess macros, you would say, two tablespoons for 30 calories. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that and I think this is gonna be really good. I'm excited. So after you cut your squash in half, which I promise you looked a lot easier than it actually was, I've heard that you can just poke them with a fork and bake them first before you cut them. So whichever method you like, but I cut mine open, drizzled a little bit of olive oil, seasoned it with my favorite seasoning, really salt and pepper would be fine as well, but I used cavenders. Then I baked it at 375 degrees for 40 minutes. If you have a larger squash, you might wanna do it a little bit longer, 45 to 50 minutes. Right, so we've got our chicken in here along with some vegetables. And I'm just gonna add a little seasoning so this can cook up together. Put a lid on it and let that go. Once my squash was done, I did pull it out and let it sit a little while just so it was easier to handle with my hands. Use a fork to shred it up. This will be very easy, and if it's not easy, you need to bake your squash a little bit longer. And then you just dump it into the veggies and chicken. I made sure not to overcook these. We're just heating the vegetables. The chicken is already pre-cooked, so really we're just heating it together. But don't heat the vegetables too much because you don't want them to get mushy, especially if you're making this for a meal prep. You're gonna have to reheat it in the microwave and you don't want those mushy vegetable vibes so I added you'll see three tablespoons here but I actually went back and did add one uh, more tablespoon so four tablespoons of that sauce and that gyoza sauce is very packed with flavor so just depending on what type of sauce you use you may need to adjust more or less y'all this is really good this is really really good i'm pumped about this recipe i was a little bit worried because one time i made a squash recipe that wasn't like marinara sauce it was with pesto which i love pesto and i ended up hating it like i just didn't like the combo i was a little bit worried like oh maybe i only like spaghetti squash when it's like marinara red sauce but no this is delicious i am so pumped. It doesn't even really taste like squash. I added four tablespoons of the gyoza sauce. That mini squash, which is probably like two or three cups, about two cups of veggies, 
and then I don't know, maybe like five ounces of that Tyson chicken plus the Costco chicken and it is perfection. No soy sauce or anything, just a little bit of seasoning and that gyoza sauce and you're ready to go. Highly recommend this one. If you have been around my channel lately, you already know these flourless brownies are on repeat in our house. I make them almost every single week. They're delicious. I'm actually making a double batch on this day. I didn't have any nut butter or PB2, which is what I usually use. So you will see that in the recipe down below. I was just out, so I left it out and it turned out just fine. So if you don't have that, you can leave it out as well. I also usually add an extra tablespoon-ish of cocoa and you'll see when my brownies bake, they are very dark, um, but they are delicious, you guys. These are so, so good. Not overly sweet, but just sweet enough. The chocolate chips in there melt and get ooey and gooey. Heat it up a little bit at night, like 20 seconds, and love yourself. These are to die for. Definitely give this one a try and let me know what you think down below. Also, just a note, I usually make these in a muffin pan and I'll just do one serving or one batch at a time and it usually yields 10 to 11 muffins, which makes each muffin under 100 calories and these are the perfect sweet treat at night. Mine was a little bit different, but I'm gonna put the regular recipe where you make it in a muffin tin and all of those macros for you down below just because I did a double batch and I made it in this really obnoxiously large pan so my macros turned out a little bit different per brownie but I'll leave the OG recipe for you down below. All right y'all last I'm just gonna make Morgan some overnight oats in my little Ello snack containers. I love these. I'll link these for you down below. This is the snack size and then the size you saw with the lunch recipe is obviously the lunch size, <laughs> the meal prep size. Comes in a pack of five of those lunch sizes and these I had to purchase separately. Um, this little like ledge, what do you call this? Um, whatever this is called, like case thing comes off but you don't have to take it off. They're dishwasher safe, microwave safe, so love those. Um, but I'm gonna make some overnight oats. So we're gonna use oats. You can use quick oats, rolled oats, old fashioned oats, whatever you have, this is quick oats. Um, we're going to do probably like equal parts, um, oats and milk, maybe a little more milk, and then some fruity cereal milk protein. You can use whatever protein powder you like. Morgan is loving this one lately with the overnight oats. Where's the sponsorship at from Ghost? Where's the sponsorship at, Ghost? We need, we need one. Um, and then just some frozen blueberries. So that's pretty much it, and I'll show you how easy these are to throw together. Awesome. Okay, I thought I was filming that, my bad, but a half cup of oats in each container. Then I do like a little less than a full scoop just because I don't want it to be too chalky, but about that much. Then go in with whatever kind of milk you want. I think I'm gonna do like two thirds of a cup. And I usually do these in mason jars, but really whatever container you have, it's just gonna sit in the fridge. So two thirds a cup. Okay, put the lid back on. <laughs> Your dog's getting late. Okay. Give it a good mix. It's okay if it's a little watery because it's gonna really thicken. Oops. It's gonna thicken up in the fridge. You can eat them cold or heat them up. Morgan, how do you eat yours? Heat it up, they're really good. Heat it up. See, I would do heat it up too. I don't like that cold. I think that's <laughs> why I didn't them. like them. You can do them cold, they're not bad, but they're they're way better heated. Yeah. 
I just did like a minute in the microwave. Perfect. One minute, and that's all it takes. I mean, literally, these take like one minute to put together, so this is like a two minute situation. If you like, if you're a fan of Oko, okay, you'll love those. Okay, I honestly just eyeball the berries. I would say like a third of a cup, maybe. Can really do as much as you want. And then I don't stir those in. I just leave them right on top how they are. And then he'll mix them in whenever he heats them. And that's it. Overnight oats done in literally two minutes and 30 seconds. All right, y'all, that is everything that I'm going to prep for the week, at least for right now. I might prep some more later in the week, but for now, this is gonna do it. I hope you found a new recipe that you wanna try. That spaghetti squash chow mein, oh my gosh, turned out so good. I would totally make that as a dinner recipe. I'm excited to have it as meal prep tomorrow. It's gonna be so good. So let me know if you try any of these recipes and let me know what your favorite meal prep recipe is lately. I'm always looking for new inspiration and I have got to get back into my meal prep game. So give me some inspo down below. I would love to hear from you and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.